excited. We are going to Cambridge today. I haven't been to Cambridge since I left in 2020, actually. Just before COVID, I moved to Sweden. I miss Cambridge a lot. I visited Oxford in October for a small conference and Oxford and Cambridge are quite similar. When I walked around Oxford, I realized how much I missed Cambridge. And then I made a plan to visit my friend, but it never happened. A few days ago, I just saw a LinkedIn post of my previous supervisor who makes this chem informatics meeting. So I was like, no excuses. Now I have to go see my previous colleagues to hang out, to walk around the city. It's always nice to go back to where you used to live, even though it was only for half a year. It's still quite precious, still a big part of my life and who I am, not only as a person, but also career-wise, because if I didn't go to Cambridge, if I didn't start to learn how to code, if I didn't step into this computational world, then probably I wouldn't be where I am now. Even though I work in the lab at the moment, majority of my work is still with the computers. That would never happen if I didn't go to Cambridge. It was like a very risky decision from my side to try something completely new. But it worked out fine. I, I love my work and what I do and I think it was a great idea. I need to get ready now. As always, I have no idea what to wear. I already had breakfast. I drank my tea and listened to my Headspace daily, but I only did two this morning because I don't want to be late. My train departs at 10 from King's Cross, but till King's Cross I need like an hour. I definitely need to leave around 8.30, so we don't have much time. And I only did two suggested meditations one is like a mindful breathing it's different every day and today was like this balloon that pops up and then you have to breathe in and then hold and then breathe out all these animations are super cute and another one i'm just following one course it's just teaching you different things every day i just sit in my bed and drink my tea and listen to this person who is teaching me yes. I'm gonna embrace this and I think it's, I'm getting there I feel inspired and calm every morning I know that the change is not gonna happen overnight it takes time so far I've been doing this for more than two weeks and I've never felt better actually in the mornings especially let's get ready now minus four at the moment doesn't seem promising but if we look at the forecast it should be sunny today so I think I'm ready. I'm a bit in a rush. Hopefully we catch the train. It's 8.47. Hi. Look at the sky. There is not a single cloud. I'm so happy, but it's cold. It's minus one or something. Hopefully by the time I reach Cambridge, it should be warm and beautiful. I'm so excited. Can't wait. I'm really hoping that I can get to the King's Cross station a bit early so I have enough time to, to get like extra large old cappuccino I made it out of it. This is my train to Cambridge at 10, 12, platform 7. Finally here, two more minutes and I'm gonna reach the Clare Hall. I'm so lucky today, it's just beautiful, warm. Okay, it's not too warm, but it's just 11 now. There he is! <laughs> oh, good, how are you? I'm so happy to be here! 
often want the real Cambridge experience, right? Actually, I've been to King's College you once. Have? Andreas uh, invited me for oh, his yes, high table. Yeah. Yes, I've been there once. Yeah, does the H Cambridge College has this um, high table for fellows mm -hmm. and then uh, separate tables for the students, kind of like the Hogwarts style in, in Harry Potter. You have? Yeah, I, I felt really <laughs> special. <laughs> we didn't stay at the Clare Hall because he discovered that it's just sausages and lunch. I think lunch. it's more about the view. There is lunch in every, every college. college. Yeah. Lunch and dinner, both. And you can just go, you don't no, have to no, be part no, of the no. college. No, you have to be a part of the college. Oh, you need to have a friend. <laughs> a mighty friend. <laughs> you know what made me realize that I missed it so much? What? I went to Oxford. <laughs> the one that you didn't go. Like, what, what was that about? Like, I was expecting you there. It He's like, oh, I'm not coming. Like, what? what? I had such a good time. What did you do in Oxford? Did you did you actually manage to? I presented. Oh, you were presenting like yes. an oral presentation. Yes. Oh, nice. I didn't know yeah, you were I on did. the list. I didn't see you on the list. I submitted an abstract one hour before the deadline. <laughs> <laughs> this is the iconic view that we are approaching now. So if you Google Cambridge, you will see this. No, not this, but you will see. Not yeah. the gauge. No, not this gauge. <laughs> come back in March when we have our month out. Yeah. Hall that's free to book. Yeah. We can go, basically. Okay, let's do Make that. Friends. This is the A20. This is the salad that I created on my own. Mm -hmm. So what are you having? Yorkshire pudding. And it's got roasted vegetables, roasted potatoes. This is a Yorkshire pudding that they call. And this is a traditional British Sunday dinner, Sunday meal. Yeah. yeah. They have different lunch options, so you can create your own salad. You can take something warm as rigid did. And there is another section mm -hmm. towards that mm. part that's only for fellows and professors. Oh, I know that. This is actually where I had my dinner and they also took me out and they were like, oh, this, this part is all. Okay, there's this, there's this. So it, it basically eats time and shows you that time is limited and it's eating time. Ah. Yeah? And uh, you can see it's showing the time is now 12.43, right? You can see the hour hand, the second hand is the one that's going around the fastest. For particular days, have mostly birthdays of founders and stuff like that, mm -hmm. it does special movements. So it has like 60 different unique movements. It, it closes its eyes sometimes, it dances, it goes around the other way. So it's and then it's basically the back wall of the library. I always wanted to go to Trinity College, I've never been there. I used to cycle here on the street. Do you see the Senate house there? And you see the top room in the tower? Yeah. That's a student accommodation. So somebody, a student actually lives there. Oh my God. An undergraduate student. And that's apparently one of the best rooms in, in, <laughs> in Cambridge. There are like five or six really good rooms Wait, in Cambridge. Wait, that one, right? Yeah, that one. The one you can see through. So someone, one uh, really lucky student, lives yeah. here on the top. Of the, of the, of, of, of the tower, yes. Uh, that student made it in life. <laughs> One thing is to study in Cambridge One and then thing is to live in that town. <laughs> Another <laughs> thing is to live there. <laughs> that that is the bio you like want. If, if, on, yeah, exactly. If, if if this student is watching this video <laughs> by any chance, please reach out. This church is the oldest church in uh, no, not the oldest, is the second most oldest church, but this is the one that the university was formed around. When they first came from Oxford, uh -huh. they came to this <laughs> church. And then we set up the university. And this building used to be the university press until they moved it, I think. Mm -hmm. So it's now the Senate House. But you know so much. Um, what do you know about Trinity? was formed by combining three different colleges a long time ago. So they are one of the richest colleges in Cambridge. In fact, I think they are the fourth or the fifth richest in the country. Church there. And here are most different accommodation. That's the dining hall. Mm -hmm. Who was 
a very famous Indian mathematician. Which one? Ramanujan, mm. the, the, one, the man who knew infinity. They both started building the clock tower at the same time. But there was a rule that you couldn't build more than one clock tower together. <laughs> infinity completed it first, and therefore they got to place the clock, whereas John's clock tower doesn't have a clock. So now you will see the unfortunate John's clock tower. That has no clock. It will have a clock tower without a clock. <laughs> and this is the Ren library. So you see the Ren library. Wait, let me... This library. So you, you can't see anything, can you? It's, it's empty, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so the library is at home. And do you know why why they didn't put like books here? It's because it's so close to the river. Uh -huh. The river would get flooded and the books would get destroyed. So the books are all on the second floor and the first floor is completely empty. Do you see this pedal here? Yes. It's empty. There's no There's clock. No <laughs> there, are, there are no clocks. <laughs> One more thing. Former Prime Minister of India. Yeah. He was uh, Remember here, he started in Trinity. John's is the second richest college in Cambridge. The first is Trinity. I learned so much today. Oh my god, it's so pretty. This place looks really familiar. All right, uh, when they were in Cambridge. So this is the hill. I used to live somewhere there. It was actually the hill that I used to come up every day cycling and I was dying <laughs> every day like here I had to stop several times so this tree is apparently quite beautiful when it blossoms I, I was cycling here every day uh, so many memories so emotional and precious Back to the sunshine. Yeah, it's not cold anymore. Oh, it is. So, it <laughs> so this is another college on our way to the chemistry department. It's really nice.
It's half past seven and I'm walking towards the station now to take my train back to London. I really miss cheminformatics because mostly I'm working with bioinformatics at the moment. So it's still nice to see some talks about chemical space and small molecules and tiny motor similarity. It was great to see my old friends and to meet new people also who joined the group that I have never seen before. I'm not sure if I can take the earlier train though because I have this flex day ticket not really sure how that works. I think I'm a little here. One more hour. such a gorgeous day i'm so tired it's 10 o'clock thanks for hanging out with me i hope you enjoyed the video please let me know if you have any questions any requests see you next time